Hi, in this video we're going to show you a few ways to find the Windows Security Identifiers, or SIDs, for the users on your computer. So if you don't know what these security identifiers are for, we have a quick uh, definition right here. So Windows Security Identifier is a unique identifier assigned by Windows to each user, group, or computer account. So these SIDs are used to control access permissions and manage security settings. SIDs are crucial for the functioning of access control lists, or ACLs, which use them to grant or deny permissions to various resources within Windows. So let's say you're having some permission issues or some user profile problems and you need to find the SID to kind of help you troubleshoot. Uh, there are several ways to do so. So you could either use the good old fashioned command prompt or if you want to use PowerShell, you could use that as well. So we're going to show you some methods for both. So you should run the command prompt and PowerShell as admin. You don't have to for most of the commands, but if you want to do something like find a SID just for one specific user, uh, you're going to need to run it as admin, or if you want to export it to a text file, you'll have to run it as admin as well. All right, so we have two command prompt uh, methods here, and both of these methods will also work in PowerShell, and then we have one PowerShell method here which will work only in PowerShell, not in the command prompt. All right, so let's open a command prompt first, type in CMD. We'll right click it, run as administrator. The first one, we're gonna use the who am I with the slash user. If you do just who am I by itself, you'll just get your username. But if you put the slash user, then you'll get your SID as well. And you'll also get your username, of course. And then you could just copy this, you know, right from the command prompt if you want. Or if you want to export it, you could do this as well. So this will just change this folder name here to... We'll just put this right on the root of the E drive here. Okay, so if we go there, we have that information right there. Okay, so next we're going to use WMIC to do the same thing. We'll copy this here. So now this shows the SIDs for everybody on this computer, even the disabled administrator account. This is the local built-in administrator, and even for the guest account too. And then we have a, a local account here, and then this Todd and this Cindy are Microsoft accounts. And if you want to do it just for a specific user, let's say we just wanted Steve, uh, we could use name equals username with quotes, get SID. And that shows it just for Steve right there. And then you could do the same thing where you export it to a text file. You could see it's the same format as you did for the who am I. You just add it to the uh, WMIC command and just change the path and the file name accordingly. Okay, so now let's move on to PowerShell. We'll run this as administrator as well. Okay, so we're gonna do the get WMI object, win32 underscore user account, and then the pipe select name comma SID. And you can see we get the same information here. And then you have the option too to pipe it out to a text file, just like you do for these. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to find the security identifiers for all the users on your computer. Uh, so if you need to find them, now you know how to do so. All right, so I will put all of this text down below in the description, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.